Hey, what's up everyone? We are going to do a reaction to Everglow Zombie. Looking forward to seeing this. So let's go ahead and start off. Okay, um, here are my thoughts. Um, oh, wow, where do I start? Um, there's like a lot. A lot to... There's a lot. <laughs> there's so much there that you... It's the kind of video that you want to watch s numerous times to see the members or your favorite member perform. I thought the zombie concept was uh, quite fun and... And I like how they started off the blonde hair. They were featured with the brown, with the black hair. I, if anything, with uh, Everglow, you know, concepts, it really has this, you know, like a, this in-your-face, but yet very cool vibe that I like, and the vocals I really like. Um, but I will say though that um, for this song to be released in June. It's something that you probably would expect maybe around September lean to October, right? With the title Zombie and then Behaving Long Zombies. But, well, then again, um, 
that's to Western culture. I know that in other cultures, some of them celebrate more of the scarier times in around June, July. But um, for the most part, um, yeah, I, 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 I really enjoyed the video. I just, uh, how do I say this? It's just, I felt like, okay. You know, when I was like looking at each each you know person, I was just like, oh wow, they just they're beautiful. But um, if anything, is just more of this is a video that you kind of want to watch over and over, and see how you know, especially here, like when they're turning to zombies. So. I, I do like the this concept though it, it's it's, it's kind of freaky but at the same time it relates to the lyrics um, yeah I, I'm just kind of curious now how they're how this will carry out in music shows I haven't uh, seen their form their uh, I haven't seen any of their live performances yet so but it's gonna be interesting um, I'm not sure if they're gonna follow the same kind of clothing or but um, yeah, it's just really interesting. Um, let's see here, I don't know. I actually dig dig them with this uh, blonde hair look. I think it's nice. <laughs> It's just interesting. I'm looking at each member, how they react to the zombie, and see how they, how they're dancing. Because everyone's doing something different, and that's what I kind of like to see. It's, you know, we we do get a lot of uh, synchronicity, or um, you know, seeing watching um, groups perform and seeing them in sync, and then praising them for being in sync, which I do like a lot. But when you see them doing something like this with this type of concept of a zombie, and then everyone doing something different. I find that also exciting. So let's see here. Darkness in my heart, bitter damn you come the bond, even sugar child a ham and a man. Thanks to you, thanks to you, let me dry, but I'm just living now. Thanks to you, thanks to you, to come to more. Here it is with the black hair. I thought that was very cool. Hold on here. Hold on here. Hold on. I just need to check something here. Because I am not sure if I'm... Let's make sure here. Hold on. Because I am not sure... Let me look this up real quick. Come on. Bring this up here. Because I just need to confirm about... Okay, we know that there's six members. Okay. Yeah, there's still six members. So uh, one of the things I was wondering if um, cuz I remember they're talking about certain members leaving and stuff, but let's see here. Okay, EU is still there. Sihyeon's still there. Mia on the Aisha and Yiren still there. Okay. Hmm. So let, let me bring this back up here. I'm trying to see where we, just trying to see everybody's close ups here. I think that's her. Oh, okay. 
I thought I was missing her, but she's still there. You know, I have to say that, um, you know, when it comes to um, Yuhua, um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I do know that with um, Yiren and also with Sihyun, for me, I absolutely loved watching them when they were originally on Produce 48. Um, Kim Sihyun, um, you know, how can I say this? When she was on Produce 48, she bro she was kind of the, the person that, I don't want to use the word underdog, because, because the thing is, she has been a trainee for so long, and she was on Produce 101, the first season, but to see her evolve... It's just very interesting. But, um... Yeah. But it's interesting now, because I just remembered when she first, uh... Um... When she first came up, came... You know, when they first started uh, Everglow, um, you know, I know that uh, EU was the leader, but then EU said that she didn't have the, any strength while being a leader, so, you know, Kim Sion, um became the the leader the official leader of the group but it's just you know i don't know it's just how do i say this it's just the uh it's one of the things that i i wondered about is how the cohesiveness would be as a group and because actually in the beginning i remember when i was like thinking that choi yena was going to actually join them but uh when that didn't happen i was just it was just interesting to see how everyone everyone eventually you know, started uh, to mesh, and you know, because in a way, they, when they first came out, they were exciting, right? They were exciting. Um, but the thing is, is that you kind of wondered how are they as a group in terms of um, in terms of do they all get along? Will they get along? It, it was. It was. It was an interesting um, dynamic to see how they how they've grown. Um, I remember that. Uh, let's see here. I think it was. I know that. Not bonbon chocolate, but it was the hush. I think it was hush that when that first came out, I was just like, "OMG." <laughs> But then they have, you know, they've had certain singles, but, you know, it's just that the you would think that since 2019, they would have had more singles release, but really they've only had two in 2019, two, two in 2020, 2000, two in 2021, one in 2023, and one in 2024. So it's like there was like a major slowdown from like after 2021 then 2022 zilch then 2023 just one and man i'm just wondering what happened there it, <laughs> it's just really un, you know it just the, it was just really um unfortunate that they they weren't getting pushed as much but I, it's hard to say but i know they were playing they were, they were still doing festivals they were going like traveling to Saudi Arabia, Kazakhstan, and and stuff like that in 2022, and even doing stuff in the Philippines. But I don't know. You you would just you, they, you know even though they performed in nine you know nine different countries, you would hope that they were getting more um, music releases. So I guess it is what it is. I mean, it's just it was just I felt that um, they were they had the synergy. They had this really great thing happening and then it got slowed down and i'm not saying it's much more of a covid because 2022 you know i mean 2000 2019 2021 2000 wait 2020 2021 they were still releasing two two singles they were still doing tv but the thing is it just slowed down and i just i just wish that um, the group um would would get more push 
I hope that's the right word to say, but I, that's what I, I was hoping to see. And I'm glad that they won a music trophy on Show Champion with Slay, but we need to see more. We want more. But I guess I don't know. I, I, I just uh, I don't know what what's going on, but I'm just happy that they're back with you know zombie and i hope they're doing i hope there's another plan for another single but i hope it's not a one single you know or once you know one um mini album per year <laughs> that would suck you know considering a lot of their contemporaries are are you know doing like continuous releases um or at least two but you know even then they're still doing like like maybe two korean or two japanese or you know they're doing something you know other in other countries but I, I you know i don't know I, it's that's just me being salty about the how they were how they've been being promoted for these last few years but for the most part again i'm i'm stoked i'm happy zombie is uh you know they're here with zombie and um you know can't complain can't complain and uh Let's just uh, look forward to uh, seeing what they have planned for the rest of 2024 and just keep on supporting them during their push for this single. And uh, that, that's pretty much it. So everyone, let's let's uh, show our love and support for Everglow. Yay. <laughs> okay, so see you later. Wink, wink. And uh... Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.